How was I able to turn this into this? Only color of that Kool Aid that I drink is red. I'm a Florida boy, knowing the sense has on. It's a red way. Listen, so this right here is my Rolls Royce Ghost. Or turn this into this. I might buy a mega chain, let me call my jeweler. I'm exposing all these rhinos like I'm Lord We still don't have the manifesto from the shooter. Your girl like AOC, I want a girl like Brad Cooper. Woo! and plenty more. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in today's editing breakdown. You already know we got the sparkling water. And if you haven't already noticed, yes, I do have two candles stacked together because I felt like lighting the other one. So I got it stacked up top. Anyway, talking about the editing breakdown, I had made a editing session on this a few weeks ago about a day in the life of a millionaire rapper. Now, if you wanna see that, timeline be built out completely from scratch you can click right here look at it but this is going to be a breakdown of the effects that you see in the video but i didn't really explain or show you how it was done so let's go ahead and get straight into it Donald Trump is your president 2024 we coming back Joe Biden in the crowd taking naps and his son Hunter doing crack call me what you want but don't call me a democrat ladies and gentlemen you might have noticed that there's a lot of energy in the MAGA movement, especially after some big wins, but you've never seen energy like we got in MAGAville. I'm a Florida boy, going the sense has on. The self described mayor of MAGAville is a rapper, Forgiato Blow. Forgiato has been a Trump supporter since 2015. His MAGA raps have topped the Billboard charts, certified platinum, the number one songs in the world. With this success comes rapper Bling, MAGA Bling to be specific. Today we're going to investigate the unique luxuries of being a MAGA rapper, right here in MAGAville. Now, what did I do to get this effect right here? Well, to simply put it, here's the big reveal. I used MRoto AI. I masked out that one section and a part of the Roto AI extension, I added sparks, which is these little things right here, and an edge blink, which is the outline around it that's glowing. And of course, I adjusted all of the colors to be the same style, that orangish type of look. And when it comes to any of the transitions where you see the subject before the actual frame changes, it's the same thing. I used MRoto AI to mask it out, and then I just showed it before the background popped up to that clip. And then for this right here, I added an adjustment layer that zooms in to the background section while this cutout is underneath the rotoscope of him. And so without the add motion, this is what it looks like. Yeah. And then for this transition right here, all I did was I added add motion once again, but to zoom in so the ring is centered in the screen, I did the same thing, but reverse on this other adjustment layer. Added add motion and had it centered in the screen, so it adds that cool transition. And of course, you know, I got the motion blur up top to kind of seal it. And if you're wondering what it looks like without any of that, this is how it looks. Now, as far as sound effects goes, this is what it sounds like with only what I used for it. A lot of electricity types of sounds to go with that style. And you're gonna see it a lot throughout the rest of this breakdown. Now for this, this is a simple zoom out transition. They had gotten a drone shot moving outward. You can see right here, I added a speed ramp to zoom out. And then I used M Tracker 3D to track the text over. Now you'll notice while this is zooming out, this right here is masked in front of the text. Now I was trying to use MRoto AI, but it just wasn't working for some reason. So I had to do it myself manually. Yes, I know, manually, like the old days, right? And so I just used a draw mask, added keyframes to the control points, and I moved it with the shot. And I had to adjust the keyframes for it to look as good as it can. 
For this, it's inside of a compound clip, but if you go inside of it, it the shot is actually slow motion, and I track the text to it with a certain style that comes with M Tracker. 3D. Now for B-roll sections, you'll notice I have this screen overlay and this ring around it just to indicate that it's B-roll. Then I had the transition in with sound effects, of course, like a clicking sound effect. Sounds like this by itself. Now for this transition right here, I had to adjust some things. I added a Pro Burns which is a slow zoom in throughout the whole thing. I also added a custom handheld and then add motion to zoom into the spots and then a transition right here to zoom in and then zoom out into the next scene. Mayor of Magaville, 4G Auto, Blow. Life's been good, baby. Man, it's been great. Been working hard on music. I see you. Been everywhere. Campaign trail, working hard. <laughs> okay, we got new whips outside. Only color of that Kool Aid that I drink is red. I'm a Florida boy. Don't win the sense has on. It's a red way. Listen, so this right here is my Rolls Royce Ghost, one of my favorite cars. These are about three fifty to four hundred twenty-five thousand for one of these. I got this mega red chrome on here. No one's ever sat in the back seat of this car how crispy it is. This is something I put on when I want to watch Donald Trump trigger the left. I put this on, put on my phone, I drive this around. Now this is one of the heavier transitioning sections that I added that I wanted to kind of, you know, go off in the editing and add some cool effects to kind of show off the car itself. So if you're wondering what it looks like without all of the effects or sound effects, this is what it looks like. Only color of that Kool-Aid that I drink is red. I'm a Florida boy. Don't win the sense has on. It's a red wave. Listen, so this Yeah, definitely helps a bunch. I know you're wondering what just the sound effect sounds like. Now for this transition right here, I added a stabilizer to the clip underneath. And so this clip is stabilized and that pretty much means that the Rolls Royce symbol is going to be in the center of the screen the whole time. So I rotoscoped the logo and added the outline and sparks to it and then slowly had it fade off between transitioning clips. Now, how did I do this effect? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Once again, I used M Tracker, one of the glowing titles. And I don't know if you noticed this, but there's a reflection that's also tracked to it. So I rotoscoped the car out and then added a hot glow, which is also from Mroto AI. And then that's how I achieved this effect. And of course, with these sound effects, you achieve that. The Dawn, the spaceship. Now this right here, we got Trump orange. Got Big Unk in here, you see what it is. Even Trump says Mayor Magaville. So right here, this is one of my favorite cars right here to drop the top, let everybody see me riding around. This right here is one of the last ones ever made of the Dawn. This is a ballpark 450, 450 right here. Don't know what color, what color should I wrap that you guys let me know in the comments. I was gonna put Trump on here, all white, put him on here with the orange hair. Make the seat almost look like his the, uh, hair for the interior. Once again, I rotoscoped the car and added the same effect. But for the title here, I had to do it a little bit differently because there's a white background. I couldn't add a glow. So I just added a black outline. This right here is one of my favorite day-to-day -day cars. Brand new Tahoe on 30s. These 30-inch rims right here. Almost the size of me. Got the stars in the ceiling. These 30-inch rims were about $15,000 with tires. Tires, let alone 1,500 a tire, so if it's a bad day, you catch a nail. This wrap was $10,000 with this chrome. The truck, I remember, you know, adjusted market value. That's the new thing they're doing. I paid 100. So this truck all together is probably like, mm, I would say $125,000. This truck's famous right here. Trump truck, 47. It used to be the 45 truck that you guys probably seen. Benny did stuff with me. So look, we're back, 47. Pause. The birds. Okay. Start back in the Trump truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on guys, let's go. Go! Now this is one of the craziest wraps ever. We got two now. We got Trump on there. He will be your 47th president with the lift, the lift and all the wheels and everything together. I got stars on the ceiling of every single car I got. This car right here, I got about $200,000 in. Like I said, a lot of people aren't saying Ashley Babbitt's name, so I'm keeping her on there. 
Trump right here. So if you see this out, make sure you take a picture and make sure you post it on Facebook so all your liberal friends can see it. Now, something I like to do a lot for comedic effect, and you've probably seen me do it before, is after jokes are made, I like to keyframe the music to hit wherever it cuts over into the other scene. So that's exactly what I did. I had the keyframe of the music louder wherever the beat hit, and I just lowered it down for comedic effect. Scat pack, wide body, right here. He comes up. Sounds great. You might have heard of the rapper Young Dolph. He was murdered. So he did all his stuff camo. I used to like his music, so I went ahead and wrapped this camo just like he did. This has stars in this. This car I say all together was $100,000. I'm a Florida boy, going in the Santa zone. It's a red wave with 4 g on. I don't trade the money, Bobby Boucher. God bless the USA, it's a red wave. Now this one was a bit more tricky to pull off. One, because the camera's moving a lot and he's moving a lot and he's got moving objects like the keys and stuff like that that had to be masked out. So here's what I did. So I had a roto out twice. One is the car because I had to highlight it. So I rotoscope the car and then another for the text that's tracked to the car. Because obviously if you look at this, you don't want the text being in front of them because it's supposed to be behind them. So once again, I had to rotoscope just the upper portion of him in order to have him in front of everything. Cars are dope. I see the new drip right here. I see that drip right there. Mega ring. Think these cars are cool. You think all this stuff's hot? I got some heat I've been dropping in the studio. Come check it out, my brother. Oh, it's kind of cold out in Florida, so I'm here for it. Actually, when was this recorded? This was like January, February this year. And I live in Florida, if you don't know. It was cold at the time, and then it's been really hot lately. And then out of nowhere, literally yesterday, it was like high of 70 degrees. And today it's low of 40 something. And it doesn't make any sense. That's why I got the hoodie on. But Florida is just, Florida's very bipolar. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, one of the main effects in this piece that stood out is obviously the bling light flare off the ring, which was, believe it or not, it was added. Yes, I know, it's not real. That actually didn't happen off the lens. I'd add it. I added M flare, right? And then I just tracked it to the point of the ring that I wanted to. And then I added keyframes on the brightness as we go through. I had it shine up. And a few frames later, I had it go back down to give it that shimmer, shimmering type of effect. And then of course you can't forget about the sound effect. Which you might recognize from a previous breakdown I've done. Some new art. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, now, here comes one of the heaviest sections as far as the editing goes inside of the whole project. Maybe I should just have this out, you know. Hey. Donald Trump is your president. 2024, we come to bang. Joe Biden in the crowd taking naps. And his son, Hunter, doing crack. Call me what you want, but don't call me a Democrat. They want to put him in jail. How much does this cost? How did you make this? Yeah, pretty much a mini music video. So when the song played, obviously I lined up the music and stuff to fade in seamlessly with the speaker audio that's on the clip. And I just faded that down with a couple keyframes and faded up the actual song. And then we get into the actual music video section. And that's whenever I start to kick in the effects that you've seen earlier on applied a lot more here. And fun little story is this was actually one of the first times I added these effects, especially when it has to do with the scene change like this, showing the subject and then the background changes afterwards because I had that idea while I was editing through the section. 
And then later on, I went back through and added this same effect to other sections. And the way I achieved this transitioning effect, going through this long line of effects here, I rotoscoped it out, and now I use adjustment layers when I color grade most of the time, but when it comes to this, you have to add the color grade directly onto the rotoscope, otherwise it'll affect what's underneath. And so that's exactly what I did. And then I added the other effects like sparks, add motion, a drop shadow to really make it stand out more, and then the outline. And yes, I know what you're thinking when it comes to, oh, how can there be a shadow when there's glowing going on? Listen, I'm editing the video. I can do whatever I want and make a cool effect. That's just what I wanted to do, all right? And then I added another adjustment layer over top to zoom in with motion blur, of course. And lastly, I added add motion once again to transition into the actual scene. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. It's the same process. I rotoscoped out everything that's happening here. I added some zooms, rotation. And then for this, I did the same exact thing as you just saw me explain. How did you make this? This is 2,000 grams of gold. You feel it on your neck yet? So this right here is about $100,000. Okay. Ballpark, 100,000. I put the Trump's nephew on there so everybody knows. We got the 45 on there, 47. Trump already knows. Trump hit me up for a 47 hat before he even announced he's going to be the 47th president because I was there wearing it. It's in that car. Y'all seen it. He autographed the mayor of Megaville. That's the thing I hear, Chain yeah. Snatcher. You can't take these chains off. <laughs> So this right here is the 4G Auto chain. This chain right here is completely iced out. You're looking at a quarter million dollars right here with the MAGA Super Bowl ring. This got the big baguette stones in here. And then pretty much the same effect that you saw me do earlier on in the video with the cars. That's what I did here. And here, and lastly, here once again. So it's been a minute. Now a bit calmer in the editing here because I just hit you with a bunch of editing effects. And so I figured I would, you know, give you a little breather and slow it down just a little bit so you don't get a headache. So I added simple camera movements, cutting to the music, transitioning into this final interview. And I like to add gradual zooms and maybe rotate it a little bit just because I think it gives it a unique look. So this is it without the zoom. Trump is your president, 2024, we coming back. And with. Donald Trump is your president, 2024, we coming back. I think I like it. So it's been a minute since we've talked. You've had an enormous amount of success, but also you predicted where the energy was going. That's Thanks. really, yes. really important. Like it's an amazing quality that you have. Finding talent and then also channeling that energy. Like you were there before anyone. And it seems like actually some of the biggest names in culture are coming to you now. Ben Shapiro just dropped a rap. Tom McDonald, right? Have you seen that rap? I mean, just tell me what you think. Uh, you know, yeah. You know, that noise you're hearing right now. This is what you're hearing in the background, by the way. If you hear that little jingling noise, it's this right here. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, once again, I've got that same effect, the screen effect, and then the outline on the edges, just to show that it's B-roll. Now, the rest of this section is pretty straightforward. It's, it's the interview section, so there's not too much editing to do with this. There's some overlay graphics, just explaining what they're talking about, and just cutting between the cameras. Now, if you want to see the full video and you want to watch this interview, you can click down in the description. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Ben Shapiro's got nothing on this drip. We are riding with Don <laughs> and Fortiato. What's up, man? What's up, America? Patriots, Trump 2024, we got some big things coming. <laughs> Thank you. How did I achieve this effect? Now it was a bit difficult in another manual section that I had to do myself. Well, the initial transition out of the phone, if you can't tell, I added the trail behind it. That's the same color as the outline. 
And I did that with color trails, add motion, and then of course, whenever it shows up, I have the edge blink and then this right here. And then I added some motion blur on top of that. And so all of that together gets you this. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Ben Shapiro's got nothing on this. Now, what was the difficult part? Hmm? What was the, uh, you know, what was the, uh, what was the thing? Well, pretty much, if you go inside this compound clip here, I had tried many ways to track it. I tried M3D, um, M, um, all of the different trackers I tried. And I went ahead and settled with this one from Pixel Film Studios. Now, it wasn't perfect. And so at some sections, I had to add my own keyframes to adjust the rotation of the phone. Cause you'll notice that the orientation changes of the phone wherever he's holding it up. For instance, wherever he picks it up, it tilts more this way. Or if he brings it down, it tilts more that way. So I had to do that manually and adjust that, unfortunately, once again. Thank you for making me look for the first time. Cool. I got, I got three kids. Look at I'm normally look not, at I'm not a cool dad. Now I'm a cool dad. This is how you create culture. Forgiato Blow is the man actually doing it. We need more of this in our movement. Politics is downstream of culture. Andrew Breitbart said that. That's how you actually affect politics. You create culture. And there's very few people doing it in our movement. Proud to call this man a friend. Thank you so much, my man, Benny Johnson. All, everybody who's watching this, thank you so much. We vote in Trump 2024, let's go. Mayor Magnum. And then finally, one last section to send off the whole video. Visual president, 2024, we coming back. Joe Biden in the crowd taking naps. And his son, Hunter, doing crack. Call me what you want, but don't call me a Democrat. Look familiar? So I had actually made that section first at the end. And then he just said to put that up front to front load the whole video because obviously with YouTube videos in general, the first 30 seconds or so are some of the most important. And so we went ahead and just moved that to the front and that was it. That was the end of the video. Now, as of today, this video has 182,000 views and growing. So I think it did pretty good. Now, another video I think you might be interested in is this right here. It's another breakdown. You can check it out if you want. But with that, I'll see you at the next edit. Oh, I almost forgot. Hot.